This fleet equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit Hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hey everyone, Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment. Welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted. We are at the International Truck Proving Grounds. We have the new HV series. It's right here behind me. We're going to get behind the wheel. We're going to do a walk around. Uh, these are prototypes, right? Uh, series production will start next June in 25. Uh, orders are open now. Let's talk with the international team and see what we can learn about the new HV series. This is the, uh, the, the HV uh, 615. Um, it is going to be powered with the S13. Uh, it can also have the T14 transmission or it can have the, um, the, the Allison transmissions. It will be available with an Allison 3000 series, uh, 4000 series. 4500 as well as the 4700 uh, series transmission with the with the S13 power. Um, like I mentioned earlier, if the the horsepower ratings go from uh, 370 uh, for the uh, 3000 series combination, right? Because we're gonna have 1450 torque with that, as well as you go all the way up to 515 and 1850 uh, torque with the with the T14 transmission. Um, this is a setback variant, right? So the, the, the BA position is, is 46. When we move into the uh, 515 uh, version of it, uh, you'll have a BA position of uh, 29 and a half. Um, it's available uh, in a four by two configuration or a six by four configuration. The HB615 is also available with a Tritum drive. When we're talking about axles, we can install up to three lift axles at the plant, they are integrated uh, into our electrical system and they're upgraded with wheels and tires at the plant. We can either have uh, three pushers or you can have two pushers and a tag or any combination thereof. Um, for cabs, whether it be on the medium duty product or the heavy duty product, uh, we have the day cab, the crew cab, and the extended cab versions of them all. There's very few restrictions uh, in terms of the cabs, in terms of applications, uh, but uh, for the most part, they are available. You can see here the, the, the sloped hood. Uh, in the previous model, we had a, a high-vis hood and a, and a standard hood for cooling. This uh, sloped hood is uh, available all the way up uh, through our horsepower range and torque range of 515 and 1850 uh, pound-feet of torque. Um, if I had the, the HB509 here, um, now that product, of course, will be powered uh, with the, the ISB as well as the uh, L, the L9 Cummins product, and that will have um, the Allison 3000, the Allison 3500, the Allison 4000, and the Allison uh, 4500 transmissions as well as a six-speed manual. Uh, an 8LL, a 9LL, and a 13-speed uh, manual transmissions. Um, and, that, and that product will also be available in a 4x2 configuration as well as a 6x4. And then for all-wheel drive, the HB509 uh, is available in, in an all-wheel drive configuration with the steer axle rating all the way up to 23K. Oh, this has got the uh, the S13, like I mentioned before, and and I think one of the things you'll notice right away is here on the uh, on this side of the engine, the cool side of the engine. There, there's no EGR cooler anymore. You might see an EGR pipe. We use that during cold startup or low uh, load situations when we're at highway speed. But there's very little EGR used on this on this engine. Daily fluid checks here. Um, Here's a fuel water separator, right? So that's commonized. So no matter what configuration you get, you're not going to have that on the rail anywhere. It's always going to be mounted up here on the towel. This doesn't have the <coughs> under hood lamps yet. Um, stop by our booth maybe in about a couple of months and you'll be able to see that. And if they come on over here to the hot side of the engine, we have a hair dryer located here uh, for the set uh, back axle because uh, this sheet. That's a hair dryer, and it will come with an optional shield uh, for that. Go you don't have the shield here, but there will be a shield that's optional. And then when we have a set forward axle truck, the um, the air dryer will be mounted right here behind the steer tire, behind the fender, so it's protected as well. Um, in terms of the S13, 
We got our fixed geometry turbo in there, and there's no DOC, diesel oxidization catalyst going backwards. Um, this is our standard mounted uh, exhaust system, right? Uh, for uh, high ground clearance applications or belly pile applications, this will be able to be raised uh, by 9.7 inches uh, to allow for the full swing of the uh, of the backboard, the fort. 